What's going on, everybody? I'm back with another Tesla web app for you guys. Uh, last week, I showed 2048, uh, which was just a fun puzzle game. Uh, very popular, but you can play it on your car. Works perfectly with the touchscreen. The week before that, I had Quick Draw, a, just a fun drawing game. Uh, I did promise this week I'd give you something more useful, and this is probably the most useful uh, web app you can use on your Tesla. Uh, even before we get to that, uh, make sure you do type in motherfrunker.ca, and when you get here, you can click web apps in the top right, and this will give you this nice list of web apps. As always, you click the red one, uh, the red link, and that'll link you to the web app I'm talking about. If you're on a device that supports YouTube, you can click learn more and quickly access the video for whatever web app I'm talking about. Uh, don't forget to favorite the page, hit the heart with the plus, and hit add to favorites. All right, so that's all out of the way. Most useful web app you can possibly have is uh, Tesla Waze, in my opinion. It's a community-based GPS app. Uh, live reports about your car, uh, sorry, live reports about car accidents, road conditions, police hazards, and more. So we're gonna actually going to click it. It's going to ask you if it'd like to use your current location. We're going to hit allow. And you get this nice map here. Uh, you'll notice right away you can see different things. So like car stopped on a road, you can see the little police head, construction. So if we actually click the police head, uh, 14 minutes ago, there's a police hiding here. And there's one underneath. Two minutes ago, police hiding. Uh, construction on the road. Uh, hazard. Car stopped on the road. So it actually tells you everything, and this is through the Waze app. Uh, if we go to settings, I'm going to show you a few things here. So, uh, default zoom. Uh, me, personally, I like to have it zoomed in more. Uh, but just enough so you can see things coming up ahead. So I'm going to change this to 5. Display mode is automatic. Uh, you can actually turn on the weather. I'm going to turn it on just because. Weather jam, street traffic, we have that on. Alerts. So you can decide what you have on and off. Police, police hiding, hazards, accidents, road closures, and construction. And then enforcement. So red light warning, speed warning, location, and tolls on and off, and police traps beta. So it's pretty much all I'm going to do is just change the default zoom. And when we hit the X, it's going to actually reload. Uh, and I'm going to show you why I did that. So we're going to hit allow again. And if you see in the web link, it says weather on and zoom equals 15. So this just gives it like a set parameter. So if you want to come to this page each and every time with like the settings you chose, uh, once you have the page reload, then add it to your favorites. And this will load up this specific page each and every time. Uh, what changed here? So if you notice down here, uh, it gives me a little bit of the weather here, and there we are. We're, like, zoomed in, and this is our default setting. Uh, you can hit the plus and the minus over here, like a regular map. Uh, you can pan around. So let's see if we can see anything. Uh, so there's a camera camera intersection here, and you can see by the, uh, the little camera that they have. Uh, construction, and it won't actually let us click it, but construction road and construction on the road, and you can see it here. Uh, at any point in time after I'm scrolling around, like say I'm looking here or whatever, I can hit resume tracking and that'll bring me back to me. So uh, this is pretty cool. The downsides of it, obviously, uh, there is no actual navigation. So if you're gonna use this, it's just to drive around uh, with it running in the background. You kind of have to know where you're going because it doesn't give you uh, exact navigation route. A couple of things I want to point out to you. Uh, again, number one, there is no navigation. So you have to know where you're going, otherwise this web app is not for you and it won't work as well. Uh, the other thing I want to point out is the direction of where your little guy is faced, uh, your car is faced, the, the direction. So when you're using the Tesla navigation, uh, you can decide whether you want to have it pointing north or whatever, whatever you choose. Whereas here I can't like, I can't spin the map around and here, let's resume tracking. I can't spin the map around. I'm kind of stuck on a weird angle and there's nothing really I can do. That's it for this web app. If you guys have suggestions, do leave a comment down below. I do different web apps pretty much every week. Uh, I keep adding them to my website just as a quick access uh, for you guys. If you have a bookmark, you can quickly access all the web apps. Uh, guys, make sure you do subscribe if you're interested in more Tesla videos. I've got new stuff coming all the time. And most importantly, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.